Hello everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. This episode I would like to carry on with some Pneumaticraft, repressurized and uh, have really got a, have a bit of more of a look at plastic. Because plastic's fairly tricky to make. It used to be with flowers but now of course it's not. It's with um, petroleum products. So let's start with what I'd like to look at first of all. We see beside me we've got these two compressors which are using... Um, fuel. I was looking at what type of fuels we can do, so have a look at that first of all. So with these generators we can put into it, of course we can put into it coal and charcoal and I've got some peat here from geolysis. We can put that in and I can use uh, charcoal or ordinary peat from forestry and those will power up these things no problem whatsoever. In fact this one I've got some peat from geolysis and I think in this one I've got some peat from forestry in it with some speed upgrades. That basically makes them produce more quickly I think and the recipe for the speed upgrade is sugar with some lapis uh, around a bucket of lubricant so we need to get a reasonable amount of lubricant to get these th things actually being to produce these things sugar's no problem lapis well, that's not too bad either I don't think uh, but there are other ways of producing power so let's have a look at this ones we've got here so here's a liquid compressor and that's made with a with an air compressor and it's using fuels now it does tell me what type of fuels it's using so i've actually got one of these made <coughs> and the next one we would actually like to make would probably be maybe the advanced liquid compressor which it produces at a higher rate i guess and this one unfortunately requires the liquid compressor plus some advanced pressure tubes and they're made with the machines so of course we've got to make all these machines to start with so we need some uh, basically we need these some pneumatic cylinders and printed circuit boards which is actually where i'm going to go to today so we need um, an empty pcb which we can then use this or we can put an empty c uh, empty pcb in etching acid produce an unassembled pcb what we want to do with this is we want to charge it up with uv so for that we need a uv light thing so it's a bit of a um, and i think the uv light box is this one down here now in order to make this looks all right except for this component the pcb blueprint and we need to make from that uh, an amadram amadram table <laughs> tablet <laughs> this thing amadram tablet and basically the recipe for that is some gray plastic seven pieces of gray plastic around a gps tool that's not too difficult to make i've made one of those already uh, with some red plastic and a Air, can air canister so we can get that one as well that's not too difficult so we're going to make an air canister and um, we'll have a look at doing the, the plastic as well because between between episodes what i did is i built another um pump jack and i assembled the pump jack just here so what this pump jack does is it's going to pump up fuel it's going to push it down here it's going to go underground and it's going to come into this little device here the more um the heater it, uh, and you can see right click this it's got nothing in it at the moment but this is one that makes hot crude so it's got 649 degrees in there which is plenty because you need 350 to actually make oil to hot crude so and then that gets pumped out of there and it gets put into this these three cylinders so let's go and turn this on while that's while that's doing some pumping the cabling for this was also uh actually not too difficult as it happens I'm going to, to be careful because I've got my thing on protection on. So it came along here and just fed it in. So from, I'm just seeing, don't want to get too near. So it basically comes from the um, the turbine over there, the steam turbine. So let's turn it on and go and get the rest of the bits. It's a bit cramped around here, as you can see. So that's now running. And last time I tried this, I couldn't get hv to connect to it but this time no problem at all it's pumping nice and smoothly as you can see so it's got plenty of power so let's see what we can actually make in those things so i've got the gps tool already made that and then we want to get the uh the next one was i think i forgot which one I was doing was it the light box no it's the amazon tablet i need for this one so we need the air canister. I should be able to make that. I haven't got any of these, but let's have a look. We'll make some more of these. I've got plenty actually, but we use them in tons and tons and tons. 
So let's go back through that route again. So anything now missing is some grey plastic. So we need seven pieces of that. So we'll go and get the plastic made up next. Uh, I'm just thinking to myself, well, should I probably should take some a table with me or something like that, shouldn't I? Let's just take this all with me. Um, and then we can do some crafting over there. So we can also have a look at how fast this is actually processing too. What they say is you need two of these um, heaters, the oil heaters to make that. This is just one of them, the two. And you'll see it's full up. And you can see it's going up and well, as you can see it's coming in and going out just as fast as it is. Um, and then that's coming into here. So let's have a look in this one. You see, it's got it's coming in slowly and it's get, getting processed. And <laughs> all of these are empty. They're all empty because everything's going out into these three towers, like this. So, and each one of these is being filled up. So let's get a bucket in my hand. Okay, so this one's got li liquid plastic. So I've nearly got seven buckets of liquid plastic in here, which is what I need in order to make the grey plastic. This one I've got now playing as a natural gas, lubricant, gasoline, oil residue. Actually, this gasoline is actually a different gasoline than this one. This one's filled up. One of these is from Immersive Petroleum and the other one's from uh, Magnetic Craft, I think. The two different gas gasolines. We've got kerosene coming in here and diesel. So the next thing I'm going to have a look at after this, after we've made this tablet. So let's get uh, six buckets. I've got seven buckets now. Let's check I've got the space. And let's go and take this to this mixing thing over here. And I might have broken the pipes for this. Let's just get the pipes out. Last time, I can't remember whether I did this or not, but we need a vortex. One of these vortex here. So that's got a little bit of air in it. And you also need a heat sink. Now the heat sinks, the recipe for these are fairly easy. It's just some iron bars, compressed iron and some gold will make a nice heat sink for us. So what we do is we put this down. I want to put it down uh, so that it's the hot side is facing the this to give it some heat. And that's the wrong way around. Uh, so if I now just take the wrench here and right click this on the top, it'll give it to the right side. So all that I need to do is to join this in into here with some pipes. Like that. We should have done it the other way around. It wouldn't have lost any pressure. In fact, the pressure in there is just from these. So let's turn these on. And I figured this out as well. It does work with the high signal. Uh, I don't know what I was doing wrong last time. I think I put the relays on here to make sure that actually point the redstone signal is going into that. Because if you've got redstone here, it's just basically going across. It didn't work. So the other thing we need to do now is to also take this heat sink here and put this on the side the cold side like this and, like, and it just basically then this cools down this gets temperature quite quickly and it doesn't work with that one let's move this down my hand so the temperature in here should slowly be going up and so we can make some plastic so let's just put some plastic into this into this uh, device by right clicking some plastic on it it's not the best way of doing this. In fact, I've got some already prepared. So let's get some plastic out of here, I think. So I've got 14 buckets of plastic in this. So let's just put that onto there like that. And then we can put the plastic into this as well. But I want seven pieces of grey plastic. So we'll let this fill up. And while that's filling up, we'll, we'll right click these tanks, these buckets onto there like that. It was a bit slow. <laughs> Sure it's got space so we're, we're fine six buckets in here like that in fact while i'm here i'll put the fuel back i don't need that with me so now you can see this is slowly getting hot because it's going sort of reddish and it says that the temperature is now 42 degrees so that's plenty in order to to get some plastic so what we do i want some gray plastic so i'll lock the selection here and I want some grey plastic. I think it's just this one here like that. Oops, and it may produce 15. I probably didn't need to do that. <laughs> so unlock the selection because I might need other colours as well. So anyway, we can now go and make this contraption. 
I hope. Oh, actually, I'll have to go back because I've got all the compressed iron. Actually, I've got compressed iron in here. So I don't have to do that. I can put it down here like this. So, right, we need to make the art tablet. So, now, here we go. Here's the recipe for the tablet. And it actually needs pressure as well. So we need one of these canisters. And then we should be able to make the, the tablet. And I think that's from what I see, you can do a lot of things with this tablet as well. So we need to charge this up first by the looks of it. Okay, but advancements made better than villagers. <laughs> Let's put the tablet into here like that. And that's going to start getting some pressure into it. I don't know how much it needs. We also need some emeralds. So let's go and get some emeralds. And I'll see you in a second when I've got some emeralds. Well, I've got some emeralds. So this will probably be charged up as much as I can do it for the time being. Hopefully we've got enough charge in this. I don't know whether we have or haven't. So let's just try it. Something I've never tried. So yes, I can right click this. And so for eight emeralds, which I can do this one, I need to place this order. How do I do this? <laughs> do I have to put some emeralds into this? No problems. Custom trades. Information. Slot interaction. Okay. So I right click to add one. Okay. Well, have I already done that? Nope. I wonder how I do this. <laughs> So I want to get one of these. Okay, so what do I have to do here? Information. Used to order items and similar villager trading, except the items are picked up and delivered via drones, which is way more awesome than villagers. Um, okay, I don't think I'm quite ready to do this, first of all. So they must be specified by right clicking an in inventory or a tank with a tablet. Okay. So a pickup and draw. Okay, I see. Right. So we've got some things. Let's have a look. What have I got here? I've got eight of these. So I'm going to right click this with a tablet here. Okay. So that's the overworld and we're drawing a tablet. And do I have to shift right click it again? That's right clicking it. And that's it. So let's try that again now. Let's try ordering this. Okay, so I've got to... Uh, you know, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> so let's have a look. Let's read that again. So I've got the eight things in here. Let's have a look at this now. So what's it say? Oh, I see. And so now it does work. You right clicked it and I get this. So I can then click this one. Place order. So I right click it and it gives me one. And I can click the order. So it'll disappear off now. And I guess there's a drone who's going to come down here and take the, take the emeralds out of here. Uh, and it's actually lost quite a lot of pressure. Let's put the pressure back. Let's put this back into here again. Charge it up again. So now we're at three point something bar, two point seven bar. So this is this is powering up nicely. Oh, there goes the drone there. So we have presumably got a, a PCB blueprint. Fantastic. Okay, great. So I've made the and you're done. Oh, good. So let's see if we can make this next component. In fact. Let's have a look. What did I want this one for? Because I've forgotten already. <laughs> the UV light box. So what else do we need? Just some redstone lamps and some compressed iron. No problem at all. Right, let's go over there. And I shall be see you in a second when I am there. So now we've got a, we can make our UV light box. I think we've got the PCB. We've got the redstone lamps. Oh, we're missing something. Oh, redstone lamps. Ah, oh, redstone lamps. I have made those. I need these three. So let's make the redstone lamps next. Three. Pushes that over there. Didn't want to do that. So there we got everything that should be all required now to make this. The UV light box. So it needs pressure five. Make okay. So that's fairly straightforward. Let's go and do that. 
Another advanced submitter. Forget your sunglasses. Fantastic. <laughs> I seem to be travelling back here and forwards a bit at the moment, but I think I need a reasonable amount of space, which I don't have over there. So let's just plug this in somewhere. Where can we plug this in? Let's try putting it on here. Oh, right, it goes in here. So it's got some pressure in, which is good. Problems. No PC to expose, so now we need to go make an empty PCB. So let's have a look at the recipe for an empty PCB is. This one. No. Failed PCB. All oh, right, we've got to compress some gold. Oh, that's right, we've got to compress some iron. Compressed iron and some green plastic in the in the compressor at one and a half bar. Okay. Um, while I'm doing that, one thing we're going to do is also increase the power that's getting from in here. So I did already make this liquid compressor and I've got another air compressor. So let's go and put this down here. So I've got some spaces for this. I can place this one down here and I can press the other compressor down here. We'll probably change these and upgrade these as soon as we can. Oops, wrong place. I want to push this back one, don't I? Like that and the same for this one. Huh. That was smart. Alright, so we need some repeaters. Which we've got plenty of repeaters, so let's put those on there. And then I need some redstone, which I haven't got with me. I think there's some redstone in one of these chests. Nope. Oh, right, clicked it away, didn't I? Yes. So anyway, I have to put some fuel into that and get that powering up as well. We've got plenty of pipes now, so we shouldn't have a problem with that. And one of the things I've been getting is quite a lot of gold from this anyway, so... From the mob drops. So let's have a look. Where do I want to go to now? I need to make this thing. So we need some... Oh, actually, I forgot everything I need over there, haven't I? Thinking about it. I was thinking about compressed iron, but we do need one piece of compressed iron. And I think I've got some in here, 58. Oh, actually, I've got some here as well, so I don't need that one, do I? Ha! <laughs> Sorry, I'll be back in a second when I've got everything prepared. Well, I've made some old plastic and we've got some compressed iron. <laughs> when I was just having a look at this to test it out, I realised I just messed something up. So I want three pieces of this and three of these. So what we do is we put those in there. But what I remembered is, in here I've got a filter for compressed iron. So that's, I've got to remove, I think I've got to remove this filter in order for these things to actually go through. Oops. And then it comes out here, and I can't get it out until I put the hopper on it again. So let's put the hopper on this again. Um, I wonder if there's a better way of doing this. So we can put the hopper, I'll put the hopper facing, oops, wrong one. Let's put the hopper facing down like this. And I can pick it out, the hopper. So we need to basically remove that. So it was a bit of an awkward uh, situation. So let's just, now the iron will gone in there, so we can get rid of this and try again. <laughs> so we put these three in, put three pieces of compressed iron in. Hopefully these will turn into, so I just got to click them, what happened? 14. Nothing's in here. But you'll see it's coming, it got the green plastic in here. So what I have to do now is presumably put some more green plastic into that. So let's, as I say, it's a bit tricky because So now we've got the green plastic. So what I'm going to do this time is put in one piece of green plastic. And hopefully we've got some iron in here. Not yet. But the iron should be stuck in the output. So we can then put some compressed iron in here like this. Does that go in? I think that went in. And now we've got our PCB board, so that's great. So we can actually put the hopper down now and get the, and get the um, the PCB board out. I think I probably what I have to do to do this is to have multiple um, pressure chambers because obviously if we're going to put compressed iron in for something that's making compressed iron, it's going to take a while. 
So now I can actually restrict this. I can say I only want printed PCB boards to come out in the output here. So let's do that. So we can not work. So we can right click this one, shift left click this into, it doesn't work, okay. Yes, so we can place it in like that. Or maybe it was just delayed. So then we can make some more of these. I presume we're going to need quite a few. Anyway, I've got two here, so let's put in two pieces of compressed iron, like that, and see what we get. But I've already made one of these. I was testing it just to see how things would actually work. So you can see here, this one's almost etched. So the pressure, of course, is drop. Ah, pressure's okay. So it's actually taking, it takes a while to etch this one. So then we have to make some etching acid. Let's have a look at how we do that one. etching acid so we make that from this one so squeezing what no nope, doesn't help me bottling no good how do I make etching acid um, I don't know <laughs> ah hold on a second I did see it I did see it here pressurized Okay, so we put all of these things into a pressure chamber. So we need to get some spider eyes, some green plastic. I need to make some more green plastic. Uh, let's do that. This should be pre ready enough to get some. How much have I got in here? 1700. I need a little bit more plastic. But I should have some more plastic by now. So let's go and get some more plastic out of the out of the trunk uh, over from over here. Because this is running continuously, isn't it? Yeah, we've got a 9,000 buckets of plastic. So we can put this black, one bucket of plastic into here and get two green. Oops, try again without hitting it with a thing. So this time we want green plastic. So you can click this multiple times and it takes it out. So I'm left with this 700. I don't know how 700 milliliters got in there, but milli buckets. But it did. So now we're going to go back and get the rest of the ingredients that we need for etching acid. This is quite a challenge, isn't it, to do all of this stuff? So we need two spy drives, that's no big deal. Now, what else do we need for etching acid? Bucket of water, two gunpowders, two rotting flesh, two pieces of that. Okay. So rotting flesh, no problem. Gunpowder, no problem. Thankfully, we have the mob farm. So those are the two pieces of plastic and a bucket of water. we we'll get a bucket of water, which I've got from an infinite supply here. And that, all together, should produce for us some etching, etching acid. So what I'm going to do next is we'll do the same thing as we did last time. We shall fill up this thing so it will... Oh, it's actually okay. We've got only outputting PCB boards, isn't it? So we can put all of these ingredients into here. And they should all be taken out and it, nothing will come out of here except for the PCB so we look at this and it should put everything else into this should he says let's have a look at this yep yeah, it's opening again putting in the gunpowder and it basically going through in each one of these one after the other so it's going to take a while and I know that this is a fairly nasty um, uh, pro chemical when we produce this etching acid, it'll burn us and hurt us. As you can see, this is quite neat. So the spider iron, I think that might be it. Yep, yeah, I heard it go pop. So now we've got a bucket of our etching acid. So what we're going to have to do down here is to put down the hopper. At the moment we've got the PCB in here, which is great because that's what actually prevents things coming out. Oh, actually there was one already in there, wasn't there? Let's now put this hopper into this onto this chest here, and everything will then come out of here like that. There it goes. So that should be coming into here in a few seconds. One bucket of etching acid. So uh, what does it say? Don't split on your shirt. Yes, it's nasty stuff. We'll just dig a little hole in here. Get the PCB board out of here. Let's put the etching acid into there. 
Let's go in here and take the PCB. It's 90, durability 90. I really do need to wait till this gets to 100. So I'll see you in a few seconds when this is at 100. So any second now, it should take, be a 100% chance. So that's guaranteed it's going to work. So now we're going to have to basically throw that into here. So what I'm going to do before I throw that into here is to take my armor off, of course, because we, if I put this with my armor and it's going to not possibly work. So this is the one here. And let's throw this into this. Now, I don't know how, I think this takes about five minutes. So while that's doing that, let's put the next one of these into here this and wait and that's going to carry on it's going to start again it takes a long time as you can see so this etching process will take about i think it says five minutes let's have a look at this if we can find out what it tells us the usage of this it doesn't tell me in here let's look at the uses of that one yes so we put it first of all in the uv box and it, then this process takes five minutes so once we've got this we can then start to make these transistors. We probably need to go make some transistors. So we need some black plastic. Everything's plastic. Uh, some compressed iron and some one of those to make one transistor. We need three transistors and we need three capacitors. So that's cyan plastic. <laughs> that a lot. So in order to make this, we need to have six pieces of compressed iron, six redstone, three plastics. So let's get and get that stuff prepared hopefully make that so hopefully i've got some enough plastic in here i know i haven't but i'm just going to fill this up and i come back in a second when i fill this up so i've got enough plastic now so we need to make three cyan so let's not lock the selection too we've got three of those and the transistor i think was black let's have a quick look at the use of this again so we make this one and then we can make transistor so it's black plastic, I was right. So we need some black plastic. And we need three pieces of this as well. And that's enough to make the transistor. So we've got compressed iron. I need to go and get some redstone. I shall go and get some redstone and come straight back. But unless I've got some in... No, I haven't. I'm pretty sure I've got it. It's all down here. So I've now got the bits. So we'll shove those into there. And hopefully that'll make the plastics. So the PCB boards are the ones which are set for coming out, I think. Maybe not actually, I probably have got to remove this one. Let's remove that. Just check what's actually there. So let's just put something else in the output. Anything will do, a piece of glass. In fact, I've already lost those, great. I'll have to put some more in. So I'll put in six more of these. And the other ingredients are starting to go in here. I, I, obviously I haven't tested this because it's the first time I've done this. But I'm hoping that we can get both sets of types of stuff coming out of here. Oh look, yeah, works just perfectly. So let's put, I didn't pick up the harper because I haven't got my armor on. Um, if I can, yes, I can just use the headset, the headpiece and that'll do. And let's just remove the filter out of here like this and then put the put the hopper into here. Oops, missed. <laughs> now there is actually a trick here. Now this is a trick I didn't know about. But what let's have a look at this first of all. I've got this pick on here and I've put aqua dynamic in it. And aqua dynamic, when you're standing in a a pool of water, is supposed to make things go very fast. Let's just try it, just pull the water here. Put pull the water down here like that, and then when you put this down here like this, and then we can right click this. We're supposed to go very fast. One hit, and it broke. In fact, it's obviously not a very good example, but it was something I did notice. In fact, yes, and not everything's come out of there yet. So let's put that back onto there. And I did take the glass off the filter, didn't I? Let's double check that again. Yeah, it does. You can hear it. Fortunately, it's a bit of a nuisance with the hopper there because you can't see. Maybe it would be good if I did something else to extract the stuff out of here. And nothing in the pressure chamber. So nothing in there. So we'll look in this. So we've got our three transistors and our three capacitors. Fantastic. This is uh, quite a lot of work, isn't it? 
So now we've got our etched PCB, hopefully. Let's have a look around here. So around about five minutes. Yep, yeah, and there it is. So if I were able to, either I've got to do two things. I'm going to put, scoop up the acid again, and then I can safely come in here and pick it up. That's, doesn't do much by itself. That's great news. So we've got our etching bucket. We don't lose any of that. So we can do the next PCB. Let's have a look how this one's getting on. You can see it's actually not formed yet. Oh, it's not very far off, 90%. That takes a while to go carry on. In fact, I haven't put down this one, did I? What happened to that? I was going to get some redstone to put down here, but I thought to put it down again. Never mind, I'll put this one down here like that. So then we can put onto this some more fuel. Um, I can use some peat in this one, can't I? And that'll make things. Oops, <laughs> that'll make things go faster if I power if I'd connected it up. Of course, that's easy. You just put one of these pipes down here, and then it connects up, and that will make things go faster. So at the moment, it's 2.3 bars or thereabouts, uh, like that. Right. And now we've got our PCB board, an unassembled PCB board. Let's have a look at the uses of this. Uh, let's see, respite uses. So we can make sort of dr drones and these things. So we need a lot of these assembly things to actually do anything useful, don't we? And I think that's the next part of this um, exercise. I'm just going to go look along here. Of course, we need all of these bits to do drones. They're going to take quite a lot of making. I'm just thinking, yeah, we need two to make this flux compressor, which is what I'd like to make. But before I'm going to make the flux compressor, I'm pretty sure what I'd like to do is to make some of these bits. So I'm going to, between episodes, I'm going to make the some more of these PCBs. I'm just trying to figure out how many it was. It's some definitely four, maybe five. So I'll probably make half a dozen of those, or maybe a dozen. Now, next episode, because that's the end of this episode, I'm going to look at making plastic. I think we'd like to do some plastic. Uh, I'm doing it obviously through the mechanic. Magnet, magnetic craft route but there is it, it does have its own route through here from other fuels so we can take diesel and all the rest of it and put it through it and I've been playing with that a little bit but I know I need a lot of power for this to work properly so we'll have a look at that next time so until then bye for now <laughs>